Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'll be trying to put. What is that? Something new here? Good morning. I be having so much going on here. There you go. The other hood. I like to wear a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Um, cause I like to sweat. I be having mad stuff up, up, up under here. And uh, especially when I'm going on the treadmill, I like to do like at least 20 minutes. Sometimes I go overboard, especially if I go on live. Sometimes I go a little bit of overboard because um, I get into a zone, start talking. Um, so, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, butterfly. Um, I wanted to come on live real quick. As I always say, no, damn well, it ain't probably going to be that quick. Well, my next client is at 6.30. So, um, um, I wanted to talk to, it's three kinds. I want to talk to anybody that joined the 120-day transformation challenge. Okay. All right. It's three kinds. It's going to be one that get in. I'm hopefully y'all can hear me talk loud enough because I got this going on over here. Um, it's three kinds. You want to get one that get in and going to stay determined. Um, that's going to be like, this is the push I needed. Something that's going to make me accountable. Something that's going to make me have to work towards something. You know how somebody get married, birthday or whatever, and they, they strive toward it because they, they see something. They see a goal. You know, uh, they, they, see, they like, you know what? Not only do I get a better health, better physical and mentally, you know, because to be on anything, it takes discipline. Um, you're going to get um, that same person that probably be like, and then I get $1,200. <laughs> no payment plan. No, oh, I give you 100 here, 100 here, 100. I get a whole $1,200 May 1st. And I can use that to whatever. So I get a lot out of this. So I'm sticking to this. I'm sticking to I'm going to stick to this. All right, boom. You got that one. Then you have the other one that's going to say, it started January 1st. Here it is. May, I mean, here it is March 8th, I think. Uh, March 8th. And um, I've been fucking up. So I'm just going to wait till the bitch give another one because I already been messing up. Ain't no need to get back on it now. You probably got other people, you know. All the excuses in the world. You got other people that's probably been on a bike. They're doing their thing. I ain't going to win. Then you're going to have something that never fucking started. Never started. Gave their money. As soon as they paid their money, they went to got some fucking chili cheese fries. I want to talk to all y'all. All of them. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to talk to all of them. I want to say it's a reason why you joined. It's a reason. You're going to get some people to be like, ah, oh, $1,200, I ain't doing it for the money, though. I don't really need the money. It's a reason why you got in this shit. It's a reason why you didn't just start on your own without even getting in this challenge. You got into this challenge for a reason. Think of, think of a why. Think of a why other than a challenge. Think of, you got into the challenge, you know it's $1,200, you know that you get a lot of other benefits. I'm going to look different, I'm going to be snatched to the guards, going to look good. Bitches and niggas going to be looking like, who, who, who they? Shit, what, when? When that happen? How she do that? Yeah, you're going to get some people that just go and have, have that mindset, but you're going to get so many people that fall off. I dare you today, I dare you today, whether you started you started and you fell off, or whether you stand strong, I dare you. I dare you to come get this money. I dare you to go get that body that you're looking for. I dare you to get that, that discipline that you thought you never had. 
talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself different. No more talk about, oh, and you know, this is screws, that is screws, little John John and them keep coming in the house with, with, with cookies and this and that. And I, nah, my husband, he always taking me out. I dare you to get strong. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you look at things mad, mad different. Do you know that I'll be 49 in seven more days? Right? I'm working to, for my 70s. Nobody claiming I'm going to make it. I pray to God that I do. But whatever I'm doing right now, whatever you're doing right now, you're working toward when you get older. Even if it's just to simply carry your own bags in the house. Even if it's just to walk up your stairs. Even if it's for you to play with your grandchildren. Even if it's just for you to walk to the corner. Whatever. Any little things. We don't understand that as we get older, as we get older, time works against us. Gravity working against us. So stop looking at things as if as it right now. And think about what it's going to be like for later. If you now overweight, overweight, and you keep on saying, um, you know, and you ain't got to be just overweight, because I don't want the real skinny, skinny, skinny ectomorph women and men thinking that, you know, oh, I, I'm good, I'm good. No, you ain't. Because you know how many really small, small, small ladies and men that's in their elders that's like this? And you, get, you got some of them that's in their 60s. That's young. You got some of them in their 50s. That's young. That's looking like they're in their 70s, 80s. Look up Ernestine. Ernestine Shepherd on YouTube. Look at her story. Bang. She almost about to hit 90 and shitting on all of us. Ernestine Shepherd. You can't write yourself off. Stop always giving up. Stop always being the one to start shit. Don't never stop. Don't, I mean, start shit. Don't never finish it. How many times? How many times I cried in the mirror to say, not, not this time, bitch. Dang. Dang. You started off strong. You made all your meals. Every one of your meals. And they eat one of them. Stop doing that. You making an excuse all the time. Or we used to get fucked up. Drink, smoke weed, drink your wine. Cause you know, you know, a lot of them be like, "Oh, I just have a wine hand there." But wine was throwing me the fuck off. People sleep on wine. Wine to get you fucked up, <laughs> nice as hell, and it throws you off. It well it threw me off. You know, let me speak about me. It threw me off. It made me not want to eat right and do the thing. Stop doing the thing that hinders your success. Sometimes people don't understand when I tell when people get into this um, um, teas and stuff like that. I tell them. Your, your success is in your transformation. It's in your creativity. It's in your consistency. It is. Anything that you want to do is in your consistency. Is it what you do? You go to a job and you go over and over 30 hours, 60 hours, 40 hours, whatever it is, and you stay consistent with that shit because you want that check every fucking Thursday, Friday, whatever day you get paid, every two weeks, whatever it is. You stay disciplined to that. But when it comes to yourself, you fall off at the drop of a dime. Oh, Sterling and them giving a party. So, I mean, I just had a little bit. Then you ate today, right? And then the next day, you still continue. I bring a plate home. That was the, that was the second fuck up. That was the second fuck up that you did because you did have discipline at the party. So, you enjoyed yourself, which is cool. Everybody not perfect. But then you bring a plate to still sabotage your journey, your success. You got to, you got to, you got to someday get strong. I just look in the mirror and be like, okay, knock it the fuck off. Stop. Stop. You want insulin, girl? You're taking whole motherfucking needles, needles, girl, in your thighs and in your stomach. You, you, that's what you're doing. Young as hell. You young. And you mean to tell me you ain't here with crunchy cheese doodles, hog and dogs, ice cream, CNC orange sodas? You you doing this? Why? Why? When you wanna find some discipline? Why are you always talking real greasy like you you like you got it together and you really fucked up? But to, uh, gift the gab like a mug, but tell somebody else what they needed to do, but you're not doing it. 
And it wasn't probably on the, on, at that time of talking about health and fitness. It was just talking about any little thing, anything that somebody needed to stop doing. We always, I always said this, we always looking at people that get high. You see somebody that's not on the street, you be like, they need to get their shit together. You do too. No, you're not nodding, but you are weak as fuck when it comes to the drug of food, because food is a drug. You got in this challenge for a reason. Who knows where this may take you? Who knows where this shit might spiral to something else? I never knew that me gaining 10 pounds on these products. I'm not on them, but before I started the products and, and then started using the products to change my whole fucking life. How do how you know with this, this little 120 day transfer, this little $1,200 may do for your life? Even if it's just to see your coochie again. We're we going to keep it one fuck 100. We're we growing on here, right? Or even just to see your, your penis again. Something small that some other people might be like, oh, dude, that's it. Yeah, that's big to some people. Even not to look down and don't see your stomach no more. Look down and you can, and the stomach may be there, but you can look past it. Even if it's just to tie your own shoes. Even if it's just to run after your grandkids. Or your own children. Even if it's just to get on the carnival ride. Little shit. You got to one day make it today. Because we're not going to say tomorrow's promise. You got to find a way to stop giving up so much. You know how many times I see people that start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. I was just like that. But you got to know when enough is enough. enough, is enough. You got to know when you're giving yourself too much excuses. You got to know when somebody else can't want it more for you than you. There's three kinds in this challenge. The ones that's, that's going to stick to the motherfucking gusto. We fighting to the end. We got those. Yeah, I don't feel like being in this damn gym, but I'm here. I don't feel like getting up doing these little bit of 15 minute power workout, but I'm, 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 I did that shit. I ain't feel like eating this motherfucking three, four meals, five meals a day, but I, I'm doing it. And not one week, not two weeks, you doing 120 days. Yeah, we got done. Then we're going to have that other person, like I said, the ones that started strong and then hooked up with Sasha and them. And it's like, all right, Dash, you know I'm on this 120 day transformation job. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm going for my money. But you out having a good time? Yeah, come on, round five. You know, order some, order some chicken wings, some wing flames, extra sauce, to, you know. Then the next day I'm laying in bed, you laying in bed, and you can't get back on track. Bring me a Pepsi. Fuck that, I need to get over with it. Oh, fuck that, bring me another drink. They say getting over one drink, getting over the, uh, um, a hangover, you got to add, you got to have one. I'm, then you got that other person that never started. Ask yourself, am I worth it? Do I love me? Do I love me? You know how people be like, oh, I love me. Oh, shit. I love me. I'm good for I love me. How, how much? I used to have, have to ask myself that shit. How much? How much do you really love yourself? You in here sneaking a snicker in the bathroom knowing you was a diabetic, knowing that diabetes had your motherfucking eyes shut down. You in here sneaking a snicker? And you the first one talking about, oh, I love me. <laughs> I, I, I love me. But you can't even probably just drop to your knees and ask God, give me strength. Give me the power to be able to say no when everybody else is saying yes. Give me the strength to die of who I am today. To become who I want to be tomorrow. I don't know what you got for me, Lord, but I say use me. Make me cry if I have to. Let me know that it's okay to struggle if I need to. Forget what everybody else got to say about me. Oh, you eat like a bird again today. Oh, you, yeah, to forget them. Give me the power to, to look just this, this straight. I just want to look straight. 
I don't care about nothing else that's going on over there. I don't care about what all of I don't care. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes you can look at social media and be like, oh, maybe I should book a trip. Or maybe I should do it. So maybe just say, no, 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 no. Go that way, that way. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's what's going to throw me off. Let me get right first. Let me get right first. You sometimes got to stop and think what's more important. If what I'm doing right now is that's going to take me further in life or is that just taking me 10 steps backwards? I say come get your new health, your new life, your new discipline. Oh, it feel good over here. When I say over here, it feel good to be able to go out with my family and be like, now nah, I'll take the same. Sometimes I don't even got to look at the menu because I don't even want all that. Not saying I'm going to do it, but I don't even want all that. Maybe that's how it sounds, sounds like it's clean and all that. Nah. Um, Y'all have salmon? Oh, thank you. What type of vegetables you have? Because everybody have it. All the restaurants have chicken or whatever. Whatever you eat. Whatever you eat. Nah, I don't need a million, no thank you. I start off with a tea with lemon, no, um, no sugar, no honey. It's okay, because I don't, I don't really have to have sugar. Okay, good. let me get water with lemon. Cool. They ordering. Uh, let me get iced tea, da, 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 whatever. I'll take a sweet shake, da, 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 whatever, you know. But I'm on my shit. I'm thinking about when I turn 70. I'm thinking about when I turn my, my how my shit going to look and everybody else going to be like, I should have started when the fuck shit started. And she stayed on her shit. She stayed on it. Even when we was going out, sometimes you got to make an a, a, a example for your own household. Sometimes you do. Sometimes everybody else falling off because you're just not strong. And not to say put all the pressure on you, but sometimes you got people that's riding for you or looking at you so much. You know what I mean? Motherfucker that's probably looking at me don't even ever say nothing, but they get on here every day just to click on and see what Skittle's saying today or doing today. Who knows? I know by staying strong in my household, my husband is down now. As of from January to right now, January 1st to right now that he's down 40 pounds. I, I know that. I know that if I didn't stick, if I was the one to be like, because he ride a dog with me. He be, please, if I'd be like, come on, baby, let's get some carrot cake just to make it sound, you know, good. Oh, yeah, baby, come on. He gonna be right. But if I get there and I'm in the and I'm like, um, let me get some days. I ain't gonna lie. Her and my daughter be like, I don't give a fuck. You know. But most of the time, when I be like, no, I'll take the day. Like, you know what? Well, I'll take, you know, they'll say something. Sometimes your own household is looking at you. If you set an example for the shit that you doing, maybe your family, even my grandbaby, baby. When she come to me, I, Grandma Apple, Grandma Strawberry, she know we eat strawberries together. I'm doing things to make her in a she just to give her a regimen when she with me. Hopefully that that would stick with her. She loved eating clean with me. That's a mom. Love it. We sit and eat tomatoes together. And somebody would be like, oh, that just, that just too motherfucking much for me, aren't you? Bitch, I don't even like tomatoes. Yeah, but find something that like for you. Because you're going to always get somebody trying to knock the shit that you're trying to do and some, how you're trying to stay strong. But let's find what's weak for your ass. Let's find out what's strong for you. And see if you can stick to it. See if you can stick to it. It's a new day. My client here. To win. To change your life. And to change your goddamn mindset. I say let's go. <laughs> let's go.